found cousin it a nose. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Blooms for You. Thank you so much for being here. All the struggle and blood blast I've experienced, I am so glad that I have some candidates that I can dedicate to you as you have appeared on the list. So yeah, I found a nose for cousin it and his shades, knowing full well that it is not a sunny day, but you know, as some of the leaves on him are yellowing, if he doesn't have his shades, he looks even a little bit more raggedy, except for the blooms. The blooms are still there. They're still coming out. There's still a few more to come. So yeah, these blooms on Cousin It, Maxillaria variabilis, they bloom for everybody that watches this video. I want to say thank you so much for being here and also thank you so much for watching. I do always mention that at the end of the video, but I know that sometimes time constraints are not there and not everybody can watch the video in full. So I'm going to bring this one forward and say thank you so much for being here. And because you are probably on the list, you've probably already been mentioned, or maybe in this episode you are not mentioned yet, Cousin It, all his blooms, they all go to you as a thank you precisely for the fact that you are here. But for this episode, let's go and check out which orchids I managed to bloom out and whose name came up on the list next. I really hope that the dedication of this bloom, Rincolalia Caplia, golf green hair pig that you Robert Forrest are a fan of floofy green blooms because Robert I want to say thank you so very very much for everything that you've done on my channel this orchid means a lot to me so anybody wants to tune out skip ahead normally I don't jump ahead of my list of blooms for you I go in chronological order but there comes a time you have to break your own rules and dedicate a bloom to someone and we don't know each other from Adam except for YouTube, who has supported my channel by sharing my videos out on Twitter. Robert, when you told me that you were sharing a video, I was floored, literally. I so appreciate it because here in Europe, we have some EU regulations that YouTube isn't too fond of. So new channels are sort of in a black hole environment. They don't get promoted. They don't get recommended simply because of our location. If I had uploaded videos back in 2018, I think it was that I created this account Ninja Orchids, things would have been different. But as from 2020, EU regulations kicked into place and that affects how YouTube reacts and responds to videos, especially new channels. You sharing my videos on Twitter, the ones that you, of course, find relevant and would be of interest to your followers is massive, Robert. And I want to say thank you so very, very much. The thought alone means a lot to me. The fact that you care enough to do this for me means a lot to me. And now I'm going to get into why I'm dedicating this specific bloom to you, because this orchid was purchased in memory of my son. He was thoughtful, caring looked beyond the parameters of what is in his vision and went above and beyond to help people. He was a golf professional, so he was always around kiddos. He always strived to see the potential and nurture the potential in children when he used to teach classes for juniors. So he didn't just remain within his own little world, focusing on his own career. He looked past all that and saw what the possibilities are if the right encouragement is pushed in the right direction. Just a little bit of a nudge here, a little bit of a nudge there, and bit by bit the result was growth and success and confidence for the ones that he taught. Sometimes I see those children who are now teenagers and they come up to me and they always reflect on how much Max did for them. And they wouldn't be part of the people that they are now without his influence on them. So Robert, this orchid is not just a beautiful orchid in my opinion, but it carries a lot, a lot of weight. The personality that you have shown me by sharing my videos, not knowing who I am, simply because you saw something valuable in them for your followers and wanted to pass that information on, it reflects a lot of the characteristics of my son. I couldn't be more happier that this orchid bloomed out for me during the winter months. I've had a lot of bud blast and I was just really, really hoping that my golf green hair pig would make it and would bloom because I so had your name on this bud while I was watching it. Robert, thank you so very, very much for what you're doing, for being kind, thoughtful, again, not just for my channel, but to your followers. I'm really touched. I really, really am. And with that being said, my golf green hair pig. She blooms for you. She is now four days open. The lip should 
be much more flat, but I have a leaf impeding the opening of the lip here a little bit. And I don't want to move that leaf because that just changes the whole dynamic and the presentation of the bloom. So not fully open lip because there are things in the way. She has started to exude her fragrance at night, having Rincolalia digbiana in her parentage. So she has this gorgeous jasmine lemon sherbet fragrance at night. It is absolutely divine. And bonus, look at this. I have a new growth growing. This is a winter growth. It probably won't grow to size. It probably won't bloom or anything. But this is the first time that I have a second lead on this orchid, which is fabulous because she was divided in 2021. And now I'm actually getting two leads, more roots. This orchid is getting stronger. So yes, this dedication was a little bit longer. I had a little bit more of explaining to do. Robert, thank you so very, very much for supporting my channel, for your kindness, for your friendship. My very, very special golf green hair pig blooms for you. And Grey Combossary graces us with her beautiful blooms. One spike, two blooms this year. Last year I had two spikes, but with one bloom each. So the bloom count remains the same. The spike count not so much. Oh, but my goodness. Tantilla Tatiana and Lee Bourbon. I sincerely hope you are into Angrecoids because my Crestwood Tomorrow Star did not bloom for me this season. Therefore, my bossery will just have to take its place. And I really, really do hope you like Angrecoid blooms. I absolutely adore them. So, Tantilla Tatiana and Lee Bourbon, Angrecum sesquipedale, variety bossery. These two gorgeous, magnificent blooms. They bloom for you to say thank you so very, very much for your support on my channel here. Now you can see there's a difference between the two blooms and maybe I'm filming this clip a little bit prematurely, but I did not want to make a mistake from here on in and miss out on the opportunity of being able to dedicate two blooms to you. This one has been open for about five days. This one opened two days ago, so you can see how they differ from being recently opened as they mature. I don't have the fragrance at night yet. That is to come as long as I don't mess up and break this spike. But I'm really looking forward to that heady, molasses weighted jasmine fragrance that this orchid exudes at night because I can smell her presence in the dark when I'm working at my computer. For the sake of this video, I did wipe down her leaves. She was very, very dusty because I hate cleaning the leaves of this orchid because it destroys the glaucous effect that she has. It's also a protective measure for her, protecting her against light, too much light based on where she would naturally live. But she was in a need of a wipe down. So this will be her one and only wipe down for the rest of the year just so that the next leaves that are growing are going to have that glaucous effect back. Now I'm not gonna turn the orchid too much because you can see the roots, how they grow and one is up against the hedge. I may have snapped it as I came and brought the orchid out, but never mind. Roots are at least growing, they are in the pot and at least I have one that is actually doing most of the work right here. It's in the water basin of the saucer. But these blooms, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. They are so strong, tough and waxy. Not to be mistaken that they can't get bruised. I'm really pleased I can get this clip out now and relax a little bit, enjoy her for another three weeks, which I hope is how long she's going to last. So, one more time, Tantilla, Tatiana and Lee Bourbon. My Angaricum sesquipirali variety bossery, she blooms for you. One bloom each to say thank you so very, very much for supporting my channel. Prostechia Garciana Alba, can you believe it? Look at this bowl of goodness. I've got a lot going on in here, but for now, I only have three clusters that are open properly. Some are still only just developing, so I shall be dedicating those at a later date. But I have one cluster right here. I have one there and a beautiful one. Woo, we're going to have to turn her around because those aren't fully opened. 
a beautiful one down here. And these three clusters I would like to dedicate to Emil Crafter and Simone Napolitano to thank you for your support on my channel via my Prostechia Garciana Alba or Encyclia Garciana Alba as you wish. She is in beast mode and she is smelling lovely. She is down by my grow space right at the bottom shelf where she can get direct sun when there is sun which finally has come back but she is not burning on the leaves so the winter sun is doing her a load of good to get such a blooming which normally in my case would be much later in the year so i found her happy place through the winter months to be able to then in future keep her down there and she is doing brilliantly in this setup of mainly akadama the bottom is crocked with lava rock and then the rest is just saturated akadama and this orchid is absolutely loving it i'm super pleased at how she's progressing and oh my goodness the fragrance from these blooms coming through now back to that very divine unique delicate talcum powder fragrance it's a fancy fragrance it's not the one that you use for babies this is something that is extremely exquisite and super super strong in the air when the sun shines on her I've just brought her out of sunshine and put her here to film and I can smell it where I'm standing. It's amazing. Considering it's the winter months, considering we've just had a whole bunch of days in consecutive gloom, the fact that this orchid is coming through with a lot of blooms, more to come, new growth again on the way. There's a whole gaggle of new growths right here. Another bud right there. This orchid, oh, what a relief. What a joy, and I couldn't be happier to dedicate the three clusters to Emil, Crafter, and Simone Napolitano for your support on my channel. And I have added some clips in while I was talking while she's in the sun. It washes out the blooms a lot, but I hope that in that footage, you will be able to see how she has such a beautiful crystalline kind of structure and effect on her petals and sepals. The spotting is not as pronounced this time of year, but that is light levels. Should she be blooming out on all the other buds I still have going, maybe with more increased light, we will see more definition on the spotting. But still, fragrance this time of year with an orchid that is not struggling with the conditions. Oh, so happy i can't tell you thank you so much to emil crafter simone napolitano for your support on my channel three more blooms opened on my lelia lundii i was going to dedicate a bloom each to one of you on the list that had come up but i have to deduct one name because when i filmed her the last time everything was fine and now this bloom is missing a sepal up here. That's disturbing. I checked her for pests. I don't see anything. Caterpillars could have, but I don't see any other signs. This bud is still looking fine. So huh, something happened between the last filming of the Care Collab and today, which is a pity. Maybe I broke it off when I was putting her back in her space. Oh, well. So only two blooms to dedicate, but Three more have opened, giving me a little bit more of a color spectacle. And the two blooms I'm dedicating to say thank you to are Elkic Spin and Bala's Musings. So these two are the latest to open here. Well, including that one, but even though I'm just a hobby grower, I do try to get my blooms as perfect and pristine to dedicate them. And if they don't make the cut, well, you know, they add me a touch of color and they give me a fragrance anyway because yes, since the last time I filmed her, I did not have a fragrance and now I do. Very, very soft, but a pretty, pretty little floral perfume. But it is a unique floral perfume. It's one of those perfumes, you know, that you get as a teenage girl that has all the little accessories to go with it. The ones you buy in a kit. Very, very sweet, but faint. It, it's divine. I don't know how else to describe it. And I'm sorry about the breeze here always moving my blooms around but yeah a very pleasant fragrance matching her cute cute little blooms let's see if i can get that in focus that is just the sweetest little thing 
a teenager's first perfume, matching her delicate little colors. But anyway, my Lelia Lundii still has another bud to go. I'm hoping that the other growth will also bloom. But seeing as she blooms late winter, early spring, no, nah, I don't know if we're gonna make the cut this time around. Still, I don't wanna be greedy. This is the most blooms I've ever had on my Lelia Lundii. So just accepting what I've got and appreciating it so much. Elkick Spin and Bala's Musing. The next two blooms to open, the ones that are perfect, they bloom for you to say thank you so very, very much for your support on my channel. It is greatly appreciated. In your face, Paphiopedalum American Hybrid. One bloom, but one bloom is all we need because I can dedicate this bloom to the Goodwill Hustle. So what I know about Goodwill is this charity in the United States. This being an American hybrid, I wonder if I made the right combination. I'm not entirely sure, but my Paphiopedalum American Hybrid. Thank you, Goodwill Hustle. She blooms for you. Just a single bloom, and I thought I would get in there up close and personal because on a somewhat overcast day, this is gorgeous. We can really appreciate the detail of the interior of the bloom, all those hairs, the funky things that are going on there. Just remarkable, super interesting. Now, let's back out a little bit because there is more to see here. Check this out. My goodness, I am in love with this bloom, but even though everything about the interior of this bloom is super interesting, the part I love the best is that hood. Now let's see what happens if I take away the reflection of the facade. We can darken a little bit that burgundy bleeding of the hood there into the white. My goodness, any Paphiopedalum that comes with a hood like this, I'm sold. I love it. I just love the whole texture of what this hood is capable of. It's got black hairs, it's got white hairs, and then it, as you can see, it kind of glows as well. That could be the lighting and the reflection from my facade, but still, it is absolutely, for me, I just, ooh, you gotta stop touching it because, you know, those hairs are there for a reason. But it's a bloom that I could fiddle with <laughs> and get to know better, so to speak. I bond with my American hybrid bloom. I know, weird, huh? But these guys take so long to bloom that, you know, once they are in bloom, I take advantage while they're with me. Now, this orchid last year gave me three blooms. This year, I only have one bloom. But all the fans on this orchid for next year, I have three new fans. So maybe we've got a rhythm going of three one year and one the next year, which is fine with me as long as she blooms. I'm not greedy all the time. So, the Goodwill Hustle, Paphiopedalum American Hybrid. She blooms for you to say thank you as well to you, your support on my channel. Very, very much appreciated. I hope you enjoyed this edition. I hope that it wasn't too repetitive. Know that I am very, very relieved to have managed to get these orchids in this episode to bloom out. <laughs> very relieved. <laughs> have yourselves a very beautiful day. And even Cousin It agrees with me on this one, on one condition, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.